Hello everyone, welcome to Halo Moon Tarot. This is your weekly love reading for Sagittarius. Hope you're all well. Thanks so much for dropping in. I really appreciate it. Let's see what's happening. Sagittarius. What's coming in? What's going out, Sag? What is the overall energy surrounding Sagittarius in their love life? What's the overall energy surrounding Sagittarius regarding their love life? What does Sagittarius need to know? Sagittarius. There we go. Heal the ouch. Some of you are healing from something, okay? Or somebody's coming towards you to heal an ouch. This is a person who is reminiscing, thinking about you. Yeah, wow. And then we have mountain. Ooh, someone else got this. You fire signs all have sort of a similar energy, a little different, but... Yeah, there's definitely some common denominators. Of course, it's because you guys are all intermingling. <laughs> all right. Sagittarius. What's coming in? What's going out? What's changing in the love lives of the Sagittarius viewers? Clear messages and guidance for Sagittarius. What do they need to know? What do you lovely Sagittarius need to know? The tower. Yeah, so the tower came down. Some of you were healing. Okay. Something happened suddenly. Maybe somebody came in suddenly to heal something. Oh, you got an offer. So, yeah, somebody wanted a new beginning. This came in sudden. Wow. Okay. That feels really positive. What the heck was that all about? Hmm. Whoops. There we go. And then we have... Ooh, this is something you may have manifested or somebody is manifesting a new beginning with you. They want to heal a situation. There's a solid offer coming in. This is reliable, hopefully. <laughs> I don't like it when I see the magician near anything these days, I'm telling you. Yeah, we got the Queen of Pentacles. There's somebody coming towards you. They're looking at a future with you. Yes, they are. We have Pisces, Hangman, looking at things this way, that way. Mm -hmm. And then we have Five of Wands. Oh, yes, we've got conflict. Yeah, there's some kind of conflict and chaos here. I feel like someone here wants things very calm and peaceful. They just want to feel safe and secure, grounded, practical. This is somebody who may be working from home. Feeling really good, working on their money, focusing on all the details, looking into the future. Someone's looking at you. Look at that. Looking right at you. I feel like this is probably you. Uh, I generally see the Queen of Pentacles as somebody who, it's usually the person that the, when someone's coming in, it's usually that person. So it's more than likely your energy. But it could be this person coming in, thinking about it, looking at the future, um, paying attention to the details, being grounded, practical about how to approach you. They're worried about conflict, chaos, fighting. Uh, somebody doesn't want this. They want to approach in the right way. And then we have the star. And we have ten of wands. Yeah, somebody's burdened by something. Someone needs to take some kind of responsibility i feel here someone feels responsible for some conflict this could be you or you may take the responsibility on your shoulders or there's some kind of obstacles here putting an end to something that's a burden there's a ten of cups i feel like there's a happy resolution there's some kind of healing and purging things are calming down uh, from this chaos and conflict somebody's coming in to take action they're listening to music <laughs> listening to something, reminiscing possibly as well, trusting their intuition. The hangman can also be someone who's using their intuition as well, looking at things from every angle, thinking about their approach, what's the best way to approach this, feeling stuck, checking it out, making sure it feels safe. If the coast is clear, that's what I think. Somebody wants to come in and heal things, and it's probably something you've manifested or they're manifesting a new beginning to fix something. Yeah, it's a, it's a solid offer. They're trying to think about how to approach you. They want to put an end to something that's burdening them. And it could be you as well. But we have this Ten of Cups. Flip it however you wish. We have this mountain. Yes, there is movement here. There are obstacles, yes. But I feel like there could be a happy outcome here. So let's see what's going on with the tower. Why is the tower here? 
something ended, something's beginning. This is how the tower gets be rebuilt, one pentacle at a time. Yes, tower. Why is the tower here? Why is the tower here? What's this tower all about? Uh, teamwork, cooperation, and compromise. Ooh, someone's coming in to compromise. Sag, somebody's coming in to compromise with you. Could be you. We're in Aries Leo. Another Sagittarius. I see the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Pisces. It could be just an energy. This energy's been around for a while, uh, quite a long time, I feel. There's a lot of people out there that are resolving things and... Yeah, it's been an uphill battle for a lot of people. Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles. Why is this here? What's this Ace of Pentacles about? Someone's coming in to take control. They're coming in to cooperate, compromise. They want to see this through. There's an offer. This is somebody who works very hard, self-employed, possibly entrepreneur, business owner, a boss. Uh, somebody who's very dedicated. Yeah, it's, I, I, it's Mars energy. It could even be a Scorpio, okay, for some of you. Could be you. Could be an Aries. We have the Ace of Pentacles. Why is this here? What is this Ace of Pentacles about? Why is this here? What is this offer? Somebody's going to... This person's coming in. They want to fix a situation. They're manifesting. They have all the tools they need. This person could be a home builder, that kind of thing as well. Okay, I see that. They they have all the tools. Uh, they could be a builder, electrician, anything, literally a magician. So, all right, Ace of Pentacles. All right, if I stop talking, I can get a clear answer on this Ace of Pentacles. Why is this here? Yeah, so somebody's been holding back, clearing their energy out. Somebody wants to heal a situation. They've been holding back and thinking about rebuilding after a tower. Yeah, they are. Yeah, this person's coming towards you. They, someone may have walked away from you. They needed to clear their head, clear their energy, and I feel like they'll come back. Yeah, so something ended here. There was a painful ending. Somebody wants to put an end to something. And they're, you know, they want to purge and release something. They want to let it go. They want to get this off their back. It could be you. It could be them. Yeah, set themselves free. Someone's coming towards you. Someone needs to release the ego. We got someone here with a pretty big ego. They get a lot of attention because they're successful. So their ego is a little bit much. Uh, there's, yeah, we've got a possible Gemini energy. Believer Aquarius could be too. Manifesting, clearing things up, wanting to talk, speak the truth. Someone needs to, the only way this can be manifested, I'm going to tell you right now, is if someone speaks their truth and they say what their true intentions are. Okay, because there's someone here who's like, they're just not sure. Somebody is not so sure. They want to accept this. If this is the truth, if this is something they should manifest, there's a need to heal something. Someone needs to speak their truth. Somebody needs to make their intentions clear. Someone feels like maybe they can't heal this, they don't know what to do, or they're, they have a strategy here to manifest this new beginning, and they were maybe worried that they're going to be rejected. Maybe somebody was rejected. They were trying to manifest a new beginning, but there was maybe some kind of manipulation here. Somebody felt manipulated or something. So let's have a look. See, uh, we got justice. Somebody didn't do things right. Somebody wanted justice. They wanted things right. Someone didn't play fair. Somebody was manipulating. Somebody wants the truth. That's what happens here. You can't manipulate the situation. Somebody wants the truth. They want to make sure somebody's intentions are clear. They want to be treated right. They want to be fair. I feel like somebody wants to make something right, but they don't know how to do it. And they're trying to manifest this truth and this clarity. They're using their head over their heart. Yeah, this is going to take a lot of work. Somebody's working on themselves, working on this situation. Not sure this is going to work as well. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah, so we have someone here who doesn't have the clarity they need to see a future. So there's somebody here, Sag, that wants the truth. They want the clarity. Um, this is somebody who's very practical and realistic. They sort of sit down and go, okay, here's all the details. Well, there's no clarity in those details. I don't see a future. How can I move forward? I can't make any plans with this. There's no clarity. So someone didn't speak their truth. Someone tried to manifest a new beginning to fix something, but they didn't speak their truth. Uh -huh. They were trying to, they were being a bit manipulative. I'm not a fan of the king of swords with the magician 
That's generally somebody who has a strategy to manipulate something. They want to heal it. I don't think their intentions were horrible, but they didn't make their intentions clear. So someone felt manipulated. Maybe there wasn't. Someone felt that way. There was a lack of clarity, a lack of truth. So it's like, I can't see a way forward. I can't see a future. Nope, can't. Sorry. I don't see it's not in the details. I, I don't see a way. I don't see a future here. Um, somebody here who wants to know what the future is. They want to know where they're going, where they're headed, what they're planning for. Can't make plans for this. Not enough details, not enough truth, not enough clarity. We have the hanged man. Why is this here? Someone's looking at this, feeling stuck. We have, oops, that wanted to come out. And we have the queen of wands. So there's someone here who's very much, yeah, so there's somebody here. This could be you. Yeah, this is you. I feel like you got fire energy around you. So any of you people, you can flip this however you wish. But I see we've got this Queen of Pentacles. This is you, Sag. I feel like this could be you or, I mean, it could be someone else. But I see this focusing on yourself. There's someone here. There's something that wasn't clear. So I feel like you're standing here. You're standing in your power. You're trying to be brave and strong. I feel like you stood up for yourself. There was some kind of conflict, an argument. Somebody wasn't focused on you in the right way. They were coming towards you, looking for that attention. I feel like you turned your back on them. And uh, they didn't approach you in the right way. And that's what happened. They tried to manifest a new beginning to heal something. And they came back in in the wrong, they came in in the wrong way. It's like they were coming in to get attention from you instead of giving you the attention. They weren't focused on you. They were focused on themselves. And that's what happened. So... Yeah, there's some stress and worry. Somebody's looking at this. They feel they regret this. They're a little bit worried. You may be feeling worried about this, feeling upset about this. This person, it's something you possibly wanted and it didn't work out right. They weren't focused on you. They were focused on themselves. So you may have had to stand up to them. Maybe you regret it. Maybe you don't. I don't know. But it could be this person as well. Uh, this magician energy. This Libra, possibly. Gemini, Aquarius, yeah. You both might be stressed and worried about this. Remorse and regrets. Not Didn't take the different approach. I think the thing is, is neither one of you probably approached this right. But how, how can the Queen of Pentacles approach anything right without the truth and the clarity, without knowing? Like if you don't have a clear idea of where you're going, how can you make plans? How can you see a future with someone? You just can't. And I feel like that's the problem. So we have the Five of Wands. Why is this here? Why is this Five of Wands here? What's this all about? Five of Wands. Why is the Five of Wands here? Yep, there we go. Yeah, so there's someone trying to gain the strength and the confidence here to speak the truth, to clear things up. They're reminiscing, trusting their intuition, maybe listening to music, trying to clear their head, that kind of energy. I feel that somebody... Some Leo energy here, too, for some of you. Yeah, I feel like some of you are being just being very brave. Like you're fighting. You're fighting for something that you want. And I feel like you're just being very brave, too. But I feel like this person may be trying to gain the strength. Maybe they lacked confidence. Something happened here. Uh, there's something that needs... To, there's a truth that needs to be spoken. Or maybe somebody's having an aha moment. Somebody came on too strong, maybe. Maybe Someone needs to tame that beast as well. Beast within, right? Now, let's see. We'll see what comes up underneath. Yeah, so we have this. Yeah, so somebody wants to purge and release something. They want to, you know, feel happy. Somebody just wants to be held in high regard. They want all the cups on the table. I feel like it's you, Sag. I feel like you are really want some happiness. I feel like you need to purge and release something. You want to be held in high regard. You have your hopes and dreams to be happy. You were hoping this was going to be happy. There would be a happy ending. But there's some kind of burden here. Big obstacle. Yeah, this mountain. I feel like you have to move a mountain here almost, right? Movement, a mountain. It's like, how do you move this mountain? Tell me about the Ten of Wands. Somebody feels burdened by this. Ten of Wands. Yeah, so somebody here may have sabotaged something or they know they have to sacrifice something. Someone needs to put all the cups on the table. You both want to be happy. You both want to be together. You both want this future happiness together, but there's a burden between the two of you. There's this obstacle, and the obstacle is the truth. Somebody needs to lose the ego 
This is somebody who comes rushing in and rushing right back out again. You know, they come in with that passionate energy, coming in with an attitude, wanting to be in control, wanting everything their way. They may have felt like they were taking the lead, they were cooperating and compromising, but they're not. I don't, if somebody wants to have success, they need to come towards you right. And I don't think that's what quite happened. It was close. You just didn't get the truth enough to make plans to see a future. You, know, you felt like this person wasn't focused on you in the right way. So you've been focusing on you. And you're trying to, you know, trying to do the right things. You're looking at things from every angle. And you just feel, you know, it's just worry. It's like, I feel like this person does regret doing that. I think they're taking another look at it. They may come back around again. Tell me about the Ten of Cups. There we go. Yeah, this person, they, they, there's a need for some communication. Yes, there needs to be a lot of communication back and forth, but this is passionate, fiery communication. I feel like it needs to be stable, reliable. Somebody just wants to feel safe. They want commitment. They want to feel they can rely on somebody uh, to come towards them in the right way. They want someone who, who shares the responsibility of a relationship. You know, They want that equal partner. And it's just not feeling like it, but there is going to be some communication, okay? I feel like this person's, they've come back around. I feel like something happened. There was an argument, a game. There was a, somebody didn't have the courage to speak the truth is what I think. They didn't communicate clear enough. They need to, they actually may realize this and they may come back around and speak the truth. So tell me about healing the ouch. There we go. Yeah, so someone was sitting there weighing the pros and the cons how to reach out to someone and they did they reciprocated but the thing is is they tossed breadcrumbs you see this i knew this is what was going on someone just tossed a few breadcrumbs out there said this a little of that someone was tossing this back and forth like what does this mean there's no clarity here i don't even understand what this means right that's what i feel someone was tossing breadcrumbs while they're trying to heal something no that's not gonna work <laughs> Sagittarius, is that you or is it the person coming towards you? I, one thing I'll tell you, there's nobody going to stop you. If somebody comes in and tries to control you, that tower comes down. You set yourself free. Because there's someone here who comes and wants everything their way. They want everything their way. And they they just, this is someone with a massive ego. Could be you, Sag, but it doesn't have to be. Tell me about listening. Why is listening here? What is this listening about? Trusting your intuition listening somebody didn't listen to someone or somebody couldn't figure out what someone was saying maybe somebody just needs to speak up listening why is this here it's really about listening to your intuition but listening to music reminiscing memories ah it's gonna seem sad it's only about listening why is this here there we go so yeah so we have somebody here someone's being careful what they wish for Somebody is wishing that somebody would listen, hear what they have to say, or somebody is wishing somebody would listen to them. Yeah, it's that somebody wants their hopes and dreams. Somebody wants their hopes and dreams. You both want your hopes and dreams. You both want this cup. This is almost a Ten of Cups. Look at that. Somebody is wants this. It's their hopes and dreams is to have the Ten of Cups, emotional fulfillment, to happily ever. You both want it. Somebody is waiting, waiting for news, waiting for this, holding on. They're looking into the future. Somebody wants their wish come true. They want to see a future with someone. They want clarity. They want to know where it's going. That's what I see. And I feel like someone's not letting someone know. They're tossing breadcrumbs. They're not letting the other person know. They're coming in to heal it, but they're only tossing hints, leaving clues, you know. They're just tossing a few things, and they're not, it's, it's lacking balance. No matter how you look at this, toss it back and forth, it's still breadcrumbs, it's hints. You were both tossing things back and forth. You were both starting to do it too. I feel like you both need to, to communicate clear with each other. Tell me about the mountain. Maybe neither one of you were. You weren't listening to each other. This is a card of listening. Maybe you couldn't hear this person. Maybe you weren't listening or maybe you tried to and you couldn't get clarity out of it. Take it how it resonates. Yeah, there's somebody here. Yeah, so some of you are looking at this. There's a lot of obstacles. You're looking at the details, right? There's that energy. If that's you, if you've got Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn in your chart, it's definitely you, Sag. Uh, but it doesn't, you don't have to. This, I feel, is you. 
Uh, I feel like there's somebody else coming towards you, but it, like I said, it could flip. This could be a Sag coming. Could be a Sag coming towards a Sag too. So it's taken how it resonates. Yeah, it's an energy of someone who's looking at the details, being practical. There's a lot of obstacles here. There's a lot of stuff that needs to be talked about, cleared up, to release and purge and heal this. It's a little bit more than a couple of breadcrumbs is not going to do it. Okay, you don't feed, you know, a starving duck one little breadcrumb and expect it to survive. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, how can you heal a situation like that? If that's you, you've got to speak clear. You've got to be more clear. No more breadcrumbs. I feel like you both were doing it, though. i got to be honest. You both might have been tossing things back and forth, and there's just maybe neither one of you were getting each other, clearly. Maybe it's time to stop texting and start talking on the phone. Or face to face, you know, might even be better. Yeah, so someone here is not sure they're being held in high regard. Uh, there's something here. Someone's looking at all the possibilities, at the abundance, at the possibilities of what's going on. But someone's here, like, they don't feel like they're being held in high regard. Uh, not so sure if this is a new beginning in love, if you can overcome these obstacles. Not so sure if this is healing if it, fe if it feels like it's healed there's just obstacles in the way it feels like you know it's just a lot of weight somebody sabotaged something they didn't communicate right they came in the wrong way i don't think this person meant to come in that way i'm gonna be honest i don't think they did i think this person's just their ego gets in the way or something they find you both find each other very sexy very attractive there's a lot of passion between you and, you know, maybe that's what got in the way. Maybe somebody communicated that way instead of making a more solid, reliable offer. Because it looks like you couldn't rely on it. It's like the tower came down. Here comes this offer to rebuild, to heal. And boy, did it go awry. And I do feel like they're going to come back around very quickly. And um, someone needs to drop the ego. It's a burden. It's somebody... if. There's someone here with a big ego, with an attitude. They get a lot of attention, right? Probably because they're successful. They're a boss, a business owner, that kind of thing. And they come in in that energy. And that is not going to be a healing energy. So, yeah, we've got someone here who wants love. They want it reciprocated back and forth. Somebody wants to know how someone feels. If there's love here, you know, that's the healing. There needs to be a healing love. Emotions need to be shared in the right way. This has been an uphill battle. It feels like too much work. Sag, we've got Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here as well. It doesn't have to be. It's just the Queen of Cups, somebody who's had a really hard time in love, and they're not so sure, not so sure if the details, everything's here, if it's clear, if it's a new beginning in love. Is there any possibilities to heal this? Is what they don't know. That's It's a big obstacle, a big burden. It is moving, though. Like, it hasn't become stuck. So I feel like this person is going to come back around towards you or you them. And uh, things will eventually, someone will find the the strength and the, the courage to come in and actually speak that truth, to offer that cup. You both want, know what you want. You're both reminiscing, thinking about each other. You're both holding on. You just I feel like you're just waiting to see how things go. All right, and if it's not you, it's the other person. They're waiting for what they want. They're just going to wait. They're hopeful, right, that they can still get what they want. It's a little out of reach, but they're still hoping that this can be something that will be healed. All right, so it does look like it's positive. It's just something went awry. Someone just came in wrong with the wrong energy. Yeah, you're both holding on to each other. You're both looking at the details. Yeah, feeling a little bit stuck, but I feel like sometimes you need to do that. Get your balance. Uh, look at everything. There's something missing. Like, that's what happened. This person, they were missing something. They came in and with an attitude or with that passionate energy, thinking that that's all it was going to take to heal this. They didn't actually put the work in. They didn't. They missed some things. They left some things out of the details. That's what I think. They sabotaged things by not paying more attention, being more detailed, being clear. You're still holding on to each other, though. My gosh. <laughs> hey, love is like that, right? 
Yeah. So I feel like there's, yeah, so there was something missing, some kind of confusion. Somebody sabotaged things because they were afraid to share their feelings. They were afraid to sacrifice their feelings, their emotions due to fear, which is could be a fear of commitment, fear of things can't be stable, fear of not feeling safe at doing it. Yeah, there was some kind of stuff hidden here. Somebody, yeah, there was some things left out. You know, somebody's holding on looking like, hey, there's something missing here. This person didn't come right. They didn't say the right things. There's not enough details. There's too much confusion, too much delusional type energy. So, yeah, I feel like you've had a hard time here. I see some Taurus and Libra energy as well. <sighs> Yeah, somebody just wants love. They want to be held in high regard. They want to be loved and cared. They want to know that person reciprocates. Feel like you hold this person in high regard or vice versa. I actually feel like you both do. And it's just until this is healed, until that communication is cleared, the details are here. The fear is released. Somebody shares their feelings completely with you. Both have to share your complete, both of you. It's not just one of you. It's both of you. Start sharing, people. Oh. <laughs> That's what it is. I see it. You both want it. Share it. Open up. Share your feelings. It doesn't matter who does it first. All this talk about passion and this fiery energy, it's not giving you the stability. Somebody's going to not feel, gonna feel safe. They're going to take their energy elsewhere and feel like there's too many obstacles. There's too much in the way. They feel weighed down by it. Like they're just too afraid to give you what you want or you give them what they want so i'm going to grab some outcome cards here let's see where this is going oh sag where's this going what is the outcome of this situation for sagittarius what does sagittarius need to know message from spirit guidance please for sagittarius slow and steady wins the race yeah so some of you just somebody is coming back in they want to make things right just give them a chance they will come in it'll take them a bit of time yeah, this person is going to take the gentle approach. They want to be more gentle. Maybe you need to be more gentle with this person too. Okay, the gentle gardener, somebody somebody who's an earth sign. They actually are a very gentle person, but maybe they didn't come in right. I feel like they'll come back in. Could be you, could be them. Slow and steady. Do things right. Take your time. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Someone needs a little encouragement. Ah. Aww. <laughs> someone needs a little encouragement yeah so yeah this is what's happened there was there was some kind of encouragement but you've come apart again but sometimes you need to come apart to come back together and it's like i feel like the two of you just keep coming apart and that's what's wrong because you're not communicating clearly you're not laying it all out on the table Somebody is making a choice here. They need to make a decision about how they approach this. Somebody needs to choose a better path, a better way to approach this situation. Yeah, someone needs to take the lead. They need to act like a leader. Now that's somebody, one of you needs to take the lead. But one of you, I feel like you both have the that fire energy. I feel like both of you have fire in your chart. If you don't, you just got that passionate energy for this situation. You're both leaders. Somebody needs to just take the lead. The other person will follow. But I feel if you're, you know, we know how, how women are. Women want men to come in and take the lead. And I know how men are. They want women to come in and take the lead sometimes too. It doesn't matter. But there, you need to encourage each other. And I feel like there there is words of encouragement here. Okay, so I feel that it is possible this could work out. You just need to share your feelings. There needs to be, the Queen of Cups wants somebody. She offers her cup. She offers that love. She wants it reciprocated. Need to know how the other person feels. Otherwise, they go and offer their cup to somebody else. Like That's what someone's worried about. That somebody is going to offer their cup elsewhere. Yeah, there is a new beginning in love here, though. I feel like it is. There's something new, the birth of something new. Someone's going to come in new with a whole different approach here. They may come in as a leader and take the lead, but just watch. Don't try to You can be the leader. Just don't be in control. It's my way. I want it my way. Don't come in. Lose the ego. Any of you, doesn't matter who you are. 
Lose the ego. Don't come in with an attitude that if I don't get what I want, I'll set myself free. Don't come in towards somebody with that passionate energy. If you've, if there's been hurt, something needs to be healed. Passionate talk, it doesn't need to be there. It doesn't make somebody feel safe and secure. Okay, they'll take their energy elsewhere. They just want to feel safe. They want that love shared. They want to know this is really new. It's really it, that it's really healing. Okay, and it's so possible. So you guys take care of yourselves. All right, lose the ego, set yourself free from that. And I'm not saying it's a bad thing. It's always good to have some ego, but someone needs to be feel like they're held in high regard. Someone needs to purge the ego. And just come in and deal with this properly and communicate. No more breadcrumbs. That doesn't heal anything. Okay? Take care. Bye for now.